up guys, it is the Redstone Scientist here, and today I have a really simple tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to build the world's simplest and easiest item splitter in Minecraft Survival. So, let's get started. Alright, so basically, as you can see here, there is zero redstone involved in actually splitting the items. The only redstone involved is this, which is activating the dropper to constantly dispense items. Now, the way this works is basically using the weird way that item entities interact with stair blocks. Uh, for some reason, their hitbox, the hitbox of the stair, messes it up or something. Prob maybe because the hitbox of the stair is actually a full block and it's not, it, whatever. I don't know what the reason is, but basically, item entities interact in a very strange way with stair blocks, depending on how they're oriented. And basically what this does is it guarantees that both the, in each item whoops, will either go to the left side or the right side, and it will never, ever get stuck in the middle. This is also a 100% lossless thing, so you don't need to worry about stuff getting stuck or stuff glitching out. If you build it exactly the way I say to build it, it will work perfectly. So, why would you need something like this machine? Why can't you just build something like this, which is a standard item splitter? You just pop your items in the chest, and they get distributed evenly, and uh, very accurately evenly, into both chests. Why can't you just use this? Well, there is a problem with this design. And the reason is that if you've got a farm, and you want to collect stuff into two different chests, let's say, just to make it look symmetrical, you want a chest on the left side and a, the right side of the AFK room, and you want to distribute the items evenly. Well, unfortunately, if your farm only has a slow trickle of items like this, let's put one in, and one in, and another one in, and another one in, and you get the idea, it will always go to one side, which in this case, depending on which direction you're facing, which is this side, because of the way the update order works. The only way that this sorter works is if you have at least two items at a time, because then it can suck both. Uh, and so basically, that's the problem with this design. Now, the other item splitter designs that you may have seen on YouTube all require some very compact redstone, and yes, they may be a little smaller than this machine, but they're nowhere near as simple. <laughs> so to get things started, you're going to want to look at your dropper, and you're going to want to go one, two with your packed ice. It's important that it's packed ice because otherwise it may melt. Then you're going to want to go, whoops, a third one, and go out two, and out two on the other side as well. Then you're going to want to go down uh, a couple, and down a couple over here. And now, all you want to do is you want to take your stairs, it can be any stair type you want, go to this little groove here, and build a little couch. Whoops. Build a little couch. Like that. Then, facing, still facing the same way, you're just going to want to put three stairs next to each other, like a little bench. So now you've got yourself a little bathtub. Now you're going to want to take any block, it could be any kind of block you want. Uh, I would recommend using a solid block, just in case. And you're going to want to place them there, and then place stairs facing the other way, make a li another little bench like that. And that is basically all there is to it, except there are some other things that you have to be mindful of. The first thing is you definitely want to encase this whole thing in some sort of a material, uh, whether that be glass you can see through it or not. Uh, and there's a very special way that you have to make the ceiling. So I'm going to build up these walls, and then I will tell you how to do that. Okay, great. So the walls are built. Now, over here, you can easily put in a, uh, a glass block like this so that it's only one high. Also, make sure not to forget the water. Very important to have water right in front of the dispenser. Uh, remember that I only tested the items with this kind of momentum, going from a dropper right over here in packed ice on water. So I'd recommend doing it like that. Now, as you can see here, we only have a one gap high space for the items, which is fine. And the same thing over here, above the raised stairs. We only want a one gap high space, like so. And your two outputs are going to be here and here. Now, what you're going to want to do for the rest of it, for this uh, 3 by 3, 4, 5, 3 by 5 area, is you're going to want to actually make a two block gap for the ceiling. Now, one block gap works perfectly fine. The only reason I say do a two block gap is because when you use a one block gap, about one out of every hundred items actually glitches through the ceiling. But if you make it a two gap high, then it's never a problem, which I'm not quite sure why that happens, but uh, it's never a problem. So if you build it just like I did, then it will work perfectly. Now, 
for those, so you can use any sort of a uh, item dispensing mechanism that you want over here. I'm going to show you how to build the one that I use most often and what most people consider to be the simplest. So what you want to do is you want to take a comparator output from right over here. You're going to want to get yourself some redstone supplies. Take a comparator output right here. Place that down. Make sure to set it to subtraction mode. Then you want to build a block up, a block out, a block up, a block out, and another block out, and then a block right next to the dispenser. You're going to replace a piece of redstone dust here, and here, and here, and take a repeater, set it to one tick, right over there. And that's all there is to it. So now, when you put some items in there, they will get dispensed out in a random fashion. Remember, the randomness is based on the dispenser. <laughs> And there you have it, the world's simplest item splitter. Now, I have never seen anyone else do this before. I figured it out on my own, but I'm sure it has been done. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a like, a comment, or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out the jam-packed description for more science. Thanks for watching.